This is the iPad Pro. It's the most capable and powerful iPad we've ever created. iPad Pro. It looks like this. It's called Apple Pencil. So what is going on guys, NanoPencil93 here with another video and what you guys just saw was the announcement of the OG Apple Pencil back in 2015 or November of 2015 with the new iPad Pro that came out back then and again obviously in 2015 it was the greatest thing Apple ever created, um, the technology was insane which it really was guys, the way they were able to kind of change something that was so normal to people for let's say like 500 years when people started writing you know graphite to like paper back then and the reason i'm showing you guys this is because you know as a society we kind of get numb to like innovation like this right honestly when you guys pick up an apple pencil and start using it it's like okay cool i'm literally writing on a screen right but what 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 have they done over the past i want to say five years to kind of maximize the potential of an apple pencil and something that you just use to scribe with essentially and you know take notes with and design with is kind of amazing. They've made it to the point where it is kind of like you are writing on a piece of paper, which, you know, 100 years ago would have been categorized as magic, right? So people have to understand and not get numb to this idea that what the Apple Pencil does is more than just be a pencil. So I wanted to give you guys a nice little overview of the Apple Pencil, the ins and outs of it, and what people use it for mostly. And then also at the end of it, stay tuned because I am doing a giveaway. We did hit 5,000 subs. I know I've been kind of MIA uh, over the last three to four weeks it's because I started a new job. So Stick to the end to find out how to enter to, to win an Apple Pencil 2, brand new, still in the box, because I have uh, three of them at this point. So stay tuned for the end of it, or just skip to the end to find out what you guys need to do. So for the first three years of like the iPad Pro's life, so from, 20, from November 2015 to about October 2018, we were stuck with the same Apple Pencil. That same weird charging mechanism of how to charge that Apple Pencil. You would lose the little cap that came with the Apple Pencil just to plug it in to the bottom of the iPad all weirdly and you had to leave it there for about an hour for it to fully charge. That was one of the weirdest uh, design choices I've ever come across when it comes to you know anything basically technology related because it was just so inconvenient and so easily, you could so easily break it and lose parts of the Apple Pencil you're gonna be constantly buying on Amazon. So for three years that's what we dealt with, right? And it had this like, it was all, it was very circular, there was no grooves on it and it was very slippery and glossy. So in 2018 with the iPad Pro 2018 that came out, uh, they came out with the Apple Pencil 2 guys. The Apple Pencil 2, again, it was just another pencil, but the way those small changes that they made really, really helped out the experience and people beginning to adopt the iPad Pro as an actual everyday computing device, right? Because there were still a couple of quirks back then that people just didn't like when it came to the iPad Pro. It was gigantic, it felt like a giant slab, you had that weird pencil that um, that you know worked. I mean it worked when it worked it worked, but it was weird to charge It was slippery in the hand. So what Apple did is they came back they redesi redesigned the pencil, right? They added one flat groove on it So if you do have it on a desk, it won't roll off a desk um, It also charges way 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 better which is through uh, the magnetic charger on the top of the iPad Pro so No matter what as long as it's stored somewhere and it's like in a backpack on your iPad Pro or like at a desk like it is here with the iPad Pro, your Apple Pencil will always be charged. I've never had a moment where I've been low on Apple Pencil battery. Like the lowest I've ever seen it at is maybe 60%, and that's because I was like literally just writing, 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 taking notes during a class that I was taking for work. So, but other than that, it's never been below 50 because it's always plugged into, or it's always magnetically attached to my iPad Pro. So a couple other things that they changed was the actual feel of the iPad, or the, the Apple Pencil 2 itself, was a lot grippier, right? It wasn't as glossy, it was more of a matte white finish. So that also added to the experience of the Apple Pencil 2. And then when iPad OS was released earlier last year, they, through software alone, they were able to do the refresh rate from 20 milliseconds to now nine milliseconds. So, so they cut that by more than half, right? So the response time, what it does is it makes you feel as if you are really using a piece of paper and really using something physical. And on top of that, I slapped a paper-like paper screen protector on the iPad Pro. Not the, the normal branded one, I found one on Amazon that was a little bit cheaper, which I'll link below, I believe it was by Bursum. And it makes it that much better because you get that paper-like resistance when it comes to actually writing on the iPad Pro. And I use the iPad Pro and the Apple Pencil together purely for note-taking. Very rarely do I use it to draw anything. I'm not a designer, if anything, I'm like doodling while I'm taking notes as if it is a spiral notebook paper. And 
with all that, it just plays so well because also you have, because you also have the ProMotion display on the iPad Pro, which we didn't have before with the older iPads, which means you have that nine millisecond refresh rate for the Apple Pencil 2. And on top of that, it plays well with the 120 Hertz ProMotion display. So everything is instant and you don't feel like you're actually writing on a piece of glass and something that is, you know, that is a tablet type device. You feel like you're writing on a piece of paper, especially if you start getting uh, into these apps, which makes it look like you're actually using a piece of paper, which is really, really cool. So. I just wanted to share, you, share with you guys kind of just to take note and take a step back and think to think about like how cool and how awesome it is to have an Apple Pencil do what it does every day. And we take that for granted because we're so used to, we're so numb to innovation at this point. We think something is cool for about one second and the second you personally use it, you're like, that's how it should work. That's what it should be doing. So awesome. Like finally somebody made it and I'm going to continue like throughout my day. So that's going to do for this video guys. Hopefully you guys take note of that. So if you guys made it to the end of this video, thank you so much. All you have to do to enter the Apple Pencil 2 giveaway, again, it's brand new. I'm gonna send it with all the Apple, like, with the Apple box and all that. All you have to do is comment below, sub to the channel, uh, hit that like button, and I'll announce it next week in a video. My plan is to kind of do at least one video a week here as I start to get used to my time management um, and with my current job. So my plan is to have one video a week. Hopefully I can get this one out at some point today or tomorrow and then kind of have some sort of schedule or maybe every Monday or every Tuesday I have a video ready for you guys. So stay tuned because I got a lot to talk about. As you guys can see, I'm using an iPad and I have a full screen monitor and there's no letterboxing there. I have a new smart desk from Autonomous that I still have to review, which I really want to show you guys. And my setup is just getting nicer and nicer, guys. So that's going to do it for this video. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Peace.